So we just got back from our trip to Colombia of 10 days working and hanging out. Um, so I have 50 things on eBay to ship and then I had three things on Amazon and three things on Bonanza. The first thing that sold before we left, it was right as we were pulling out of the driveway, was two pairs of men's park ranger pants, uh, uniform pants. Uh, one pair is like Dickies and the other pair is like kind of like jeans. And it sold for $30 total, which is a pretty good price. This is a vintage 1970s uh, Playboy rabbit pennant necklace. Um, it did not come with the chain. I put the chain on. Um, I just have that because I've made a bunch of jewelry in the past, so that was easy. Um, I bought this charm for about six bucks. Um, I actually thought it was nicer than it was. I didn't think it was gold, but I thought that there was like an actual rhinestone in it, but it's actually just a cut metal to make it look like a rhinestone. But um, I bought it for six and I sold it for $36.99. So that's a pretty good flip. This is a cool piece of burlap fabric. Um, it's less, a little less than a yard. Uh, it's a cool olive green color. And this sold for $25. These are a pair of wool military pants. Really nice wool pants. It's hard to find good sturdy wool pants, I think. Um, and these sold for $35. This is a lot of four Aramark brand. It's a catering company. Um and also like uniform service. Uh, the National Park um, that is near our house uh, changed hands, so a ton of their uniforms came to the nearest thrift store, so we just bought a bunch of them for cheap. Um, this is a set of four extra large. Um, a lot of people who work in catering um, or just general work type shirts uh, use these. So we sold four for $30, which is pretty good when you get them for, you know, really cheap for just a few cents each. This is some cool vintage mid-century kind of rayon fabric. It's about a yard and a half, and it sold for $30. This is a yard and a half of Ralph Lauren flannel it's kind of a black color, but in the photos it looks navy blue, and in some lights it looks navy blue. So I had sold it once before, and the lady returned it because she didn't understand what color it was. <laughs> uh, so in the listing, I just called it dark, and I said it looks navy blue, but is also black. So hopefully this person is going to be happy with it. It is Ralph Lauren. It's a yard and a half and it sold for $40. This is a vintage East German military uh, knapsack. It's fully lined in vinyl, so it's waterproof. It comes with the straps on the back. I sell these to Brooklyn all the time. Uh, we bought them at a military surplus place um, that we bought a whole truckload of stuff from. Um, I think we paid like two dollars for these and we bought like 30 of them I think. I have these up for $36.99 but we took an offer of $26 just because I had so many of them and uh, I think we were having a slow day so we just sold it. But they are definitely cool and definitely hipster. This is the vintage Bucks Brothers leather handled hammer that sold for $46.99. You can see the handle is like stacked leather. Beautiful, heavy, solid steel. Totally worth $46. Beautiful green Art Deco swing line stapler. Takes just standard staples. Totally gorgeous. You'd never see anything like this made today. 
it sold for $30. We usually get these staplers for about a buck at the flea market. They are just such a cool design. They're so heavy duty and they always work because they're, you know, pretty simple mechanically. 30 bucks. This is a vintage analog electric meter. It looks like it was hardly used. Uh, the electric company where we live now uses a, just a digital meter. So a lot of people have these taken off of their houses. I don't think you could actually plug it back in again. Um, it's kind of a crazy looking thing. But I think this is just for display. It's kind of a cool uh, industrial looking display piece. Um, and we sold it for $36.99. This is a 1970s cheerleader trophy. Um, we got a whole box of these at a thrift store. I think they were like a dollar each. Um, and we've been selling them pretty steadily over the last couple of years for between $20 and $30. So this one sold for $20. These are a set of four little brass place card holders so you can see there's a little space here in the tail to put a little card with someone's name on it for a wedding or a special event um, there's only four of these but I think maybe someone might match them with some other brass ones and these sold for forty dollars so I always try to get these place card holders um, because people spend a lot of money on weddings so they're not thinking it's a big deal to buy these for $40. They're really cute. They're solid brass. It's a good price. These are a set of vintage cocktail flags or drink flags. Um, I've had these for quite a while. Um, I had them up for $25, but I took an offer of $18. So that's pretty good. This is a Bodum New in the Box tea press brewer thing. The box has a little bit of wear, but it's brand new, never used. It sold for $25. This is a vintage Lady Buxton brand uh, wallet. It's leather. It's never been used, although it does have a little bit of corrosion here, which again you just show on the listing. It's got this cool change purse thing, and then a place for your money and all your cards. And this sold for $30. Pretty good price for a wallet. We usually get wallets for about a buck. These are Fossil brand sunglasses. Very shiny. Um, they do not sell for very much used. They probably sell for more brand new. Uh, but luckily these were not prescription, so anyone can wear them. And they sold for $25. This is a beautiful uh, jadeite green glass. It's called the Sea Glee Transatlantique. Uh, it's a steamship um, that used to travel from the U.S. to France. And it's an ashtray, and it sold for $36.99. This is a vintage uh, Art Nouveau tile. Totally beautiful. I had two of these. I originally priced them at $86. Um, I sold one for a best offer of $50. So then I brought the second one down to $50. And I sold it. And I bought these for a dollar each at a flea market in Portland, Oregon. This is a very strange book. Uh, it's strange because it's probably going to someone very particular. Uh, it's the Alumni Directory of 1986 from University of Virginia. Um, we've had this book for a while, a couple of years. Uh, but we figured somebody would buy it. And we took an offer of $19. I think I had it up for 25 these are a couple of mugs that sold. Uh, this one, the guy wrote to us and said he knew this guy on this battleship. So he took an offer of 15 for that one. This one is made in England. I think it's a shaving mug because it's huge. 
Uh, and it's totally weird. Made in England. Uh, we took an offer of $20 for that one. This is a little gumball machine, or a candy machine, made by Carousel. Uh, I don't think it's very old, and I think it's made in China, but people collect these. Um, I think you put, like, a little coin in and turn this, and the gumball comes out. It's pretty cute. Cute display. And it actually sold for $80. So these definitely go for a good price. This is a vintage kitchen scale uh, by Hansen. It's a little bit rough, but I think that's why people like them. Uh, because they're kind of primitive looking. And I put a high price on this because I know that people like this look for a display. And this sold for $135. So that's a great sale. Uh, I don't think I paid more than $10 for it max. And it works. This is a men's Dickies work shirt, size large. One of the many, many shirts that Jay listed a couple months ago. And it sold for $15. This is a Pendleton Blazer Women's. Uh, I have had this blazer since we started selling on eBay. So it was at $9.99 and we took a $6 offer. Uh, good riddance. It's got some wear. There's a bit of a moth hole there. But it is original Pendleton, so it is cool. But I'm glad I sold it. This is called a Bermuda purse. And it's got wooden handles. And a lot of times these cloth things, they have the buttons. So you can pull them off and put a different cover on them. This sold for $30. They're pretty popular. And a lot of times people will embroider this or make their own covers to go on them. These are men's Cole Haan leather penny loafers with leather soles. I'm going to keep them in the bag, but uh, they're nice shoes. They are used. We probably got them for about two bucks, and they sold for $50. Cole Haan is always a good bet. So this is a Unitog men's uh, like gas station attendant uniform worker jacket. Uh, you can see it's made in the USA. Uh, it comes with an extra vest on the inside. I sold one of these before. I think it was in another video. And we bought these at a flea market. I think we bought them for like 10 bucks for like a big lot of jackets and vests and shirts and stuff. This one sold for full price for $60. So that's a great, great sale. This is a super vintage heavy wool blazer hacking jacket. It's handmade. It's really heavy. It's almost like a regular jacket. It's got these thick shoulder pads in here. And uh, we've been trying to get rid of our blazers, so we sold this for $30. Pretty good. This is a really cute uh, linen DKNY sundress. I bought it for a dollar at a yard sale in Boston. There's this little tear here which could get fixed pretty easily but I did sell it for forty dollars so that's exciting it's really cute forty bucks so this is a cute set of pillows we sold them as a lot two little tapestry fruit and a tapestry kind of like bookshelf thingy um, we had these up I think for 36 but we took an offer of 25 and I believe we bought these in a box lot at an auction, so they couldn't have been too much money. But we always do well with pillows, so we always get pillows that we think are cute. This is a Bill Blass uh, dress that looks like overalls. It's kind of a romper dress. Denim. And it sold for $30. This is a lovely 100% wool wide brim hat. You can see it says it's 100% wool. It's by Dorfman Pacific, which is kind of a nice brand. And it's vintage. And it sold for $50. This is another uh, wool hat. It's tweed. It's like a bucket hat. It is made in Scotland. It 
says Scotland House, made in Scotland. And this sold for $37. This is a 1990s MTB Beavis and Butthead hat. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it says this hat sucks on it. And this sold for $25. We have had these boots for a long time, like four years. I don't know why they never sold, because they're really cool snow boots. They're faux fur, totally 70s, and they sold for $30. These are the glass jars that sold as lamps. You can see that this is a threaded piece where you can attach a lamp um, socket. And they are solid glass, and they're quite beautiful. And she paid $120 for them. So now I have to ship them. They're going to California, so that's across the country. And I'm pretty sure I can pack them so that they'll get there in one piece each. This is a vintage Stetson hat. It is uh, fur felt, uh, beaver fur. Very high quality hat. It's a James Dean hat. Uh, you can see the label says Stetson 4X Beaver, and there's a size. Um, I think I had this up for $300, but we took an offer of $100 because I was happy to sell a hat for $100 yesterday. So, not a bad sale. Beautiful hat. This is a vintage Pyrex coffee or tea kettle. Uh, it's the flameware kind where it's all glass. It's got the little flame logo on the side here. I've showed these before. Um, I think I sold a double boiler uh, about a month ago. One of these, either the double boiler or this one, I got for free at a yard sale. This lady had a big free box. I'm not sure why, she was giving it away for free, but um, it was there, and I sold it for $50. Quite a beautiful piece. I love the Pyrex flameware. It's just gorgeous. It's very delicate, but it's beautiful. This is a set of uh, vintage oversized postcards, travel postcards. I think we got these in a box lot at an auction. Um, there were a bunch of others so I just kind of categorize them as like uh, the different sizes and the subject matter so we have a bunch more for sale and these sold for $15 this is the other Louis Eckhart print I showed the other one in a video before it has a really nice frame it's professionally framed and matted and I can't remember if I paid 60 for two or 60 each. I guess that's kind of a big difference, but um, I'm pretty sure it was 60 for two. I'm hoping. <laughs> that's hopeful. Uh, that's wishful thinking, I guess. Um, and I took an offer of 150 on this. And the only issue with this is it's quite large. Um, it might not look like that in the video, but. It's pretty big, so I have a big box to ship it in. And I'm trying to get it onto the FedEx truck before he comes this morning. So, And yeah, that's it for this week. See you next week. Bye.